Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Benchart and today I want to, to I want I want to provide you two useful tips for uh, improving performance on Forza Motorsport 6 Apex. So before starting and very quickly, I want to thank you all my subscribers because today they have been very kind to me. Uh, I mean they said nice things to me and I'm very cheerful because of that. So thank you for making my day better. And I want to thank you too, Santiago Santiago and Alexandra Carvalho, but I will explain that later. Let's jump on to the tips. So, the first tip, and as you might already know, Forza Motorsport 6 runs on the OWP format. It's a new format that Microsoft have uh, of the games that they have on store and to being compatible with Windows One, Windows Mobile 10, Xbox. Well, obviously Forza is not going to run on a Windows Phone, but for example games like this, it runs on the Windows Phone or Windows Mobile or whatever. So it's the way they have to get universal with the apps and uh, having less work to the developers, but unfortunately it brings some problems to the table, especially for us PC gamers. And one of the problems is with this app. This app, which is called Xbox, it's just like a games for Windows Live that they are using, they have a lot of uh, social things, like Steam, but worse in my opinion, um, that unifies the Xbox One players with the PC gamers. So, a nice idea, but, uh, well, and there is here a feature that this app has, and uh, I'm sorry for this being in Portuguese, which is called Game DVR. So, Game DVR is basically just like Shadow Play or Fraps, you can use it to record games. And there is this feature, which is called Background Recorder. And in here, it says Records in Background while I'm playing. So, these, all these options come enabled by default. And unfortunately, this can be very resources hog. So, this laptop and my desktop have 80 GB of RAM. Windows takes its it's tall on the RAM usage and Forza really consumes a lot of RAM so Forza can use 6 to 7 gigabytes of RAM on my both systems which is a lot but with this thing activated I mean the background recording what happens is that the last time I checked it was using 1.8 gigabytes of RAM this single thing was using, was using this big amount of RAM to being recording always on the background but who the hell says that I want this to be constantly recording on the background what I'm doing in the game? I know this can be useful if you want to save a nice race or a nice fight on the killing instant, but this never should have come by default enabled and I don't understand why Microsoft decided this. But what really happens is that this can be very resource hog and so after I disable this well, you could always just disable the background recorder, but I use other recordings, so there is no reason for this to be enabled for me. And so after I disable this, Forza Motorsport no longer stuttered as much as it was. So the game was almost unplayable, was completely and almost unplayable, and after that, well, it started to perform great. So, I provide the tip this tip of the Xbox to a guy that I follow on YouTube, which is Santiago Santiago. <laughs> and what is funny about is that this guy have uh, 25,000 subscribers, which uh, I think it's great. I would love to have this amount of subscribers. And he is very good at it. He has a GTX 950 and a GTX 750 Ti. Uh, he has an i7, but he disables the cores to match uh, an i3 to help uh, most of its friends and subscribers. He's a very nice guy. If you ask him something, he will reply you in no time. He's awesome. He's really awesome. I think we provide uh, both of them, Santiago Santiago and me, are very similar. I think we both have uh, a thing for this. And uh, he made this tweak guide. I have this idea already, but he was first to, to make it, he have a better internet connection. And so he made a, a tweak guide, and he references me and my channel because of giving that tip. So I'm very thankful for Santiago to referencing my channel, I really 
really thank you Santiago this was great and so I want to thank you and I wanted I wanted to thank you somehow and I decided to show uh, your channel to my fans too, to my subscribers so if you have a GTX 750 Ti or a GTX 950 you should consider follow his channel because this guy is awesome doing benchmarks and we are very similar uh, each other so it's very nice he's like a brother to me Santiago don't take this wrong but yes you are you are a very nice guy and god damn it thank you a lot for doing that I, I didn't ask for that and uh, you didn't ask for this too but uh, I think it's nice to to show your uh, your uh, your channel too on YouTube so fans subscribe this guy this guy is awesome so second tip this one comes came from my friend Alexandro Carvalho and it's very easy to make so you go to NVIDIA control panel and my PC is actually a little bit slow Oof. and you go to definition 3D and you go to program definition and you will find a profile for Forza 6 and what you need to do is disable shader cache or shader cache, whatever it says. What is this? Shader cache is basically a feature. Let's imagine that you are in an open world game and you go to Paris. You go pick up a car and go to Paris. So your CPU will process all the shaders on that city. And that is really a resource hog for the CPU. So if you go there a second time and if shader cache is enabled, what is going to happen is instead of the CPU is going to process all those things again uh, all those shaders that were processed are saved on the hard disk drive and the drivers go there and fetch that thing that was already processed and so the CPU don't need to process that uh, but strangely for the Motorsport if I have the shader cache activated uh, it causes some stutter and performance issues so after I disable shader cache for, for Forza things starts to perform great uh, not always this works well sometimes you need to really activate on the general definitions but if you deactivate shader cache here you are affecting the other games too which is not very good so the only solutions I can see for that is either Nvidia releases a new driver or Forza Motorsports fixes this with an update so curiously Alexandra Carvalho is my friend and curiously, this guy, this guy, have some applications on store, and not because he's my friend, but I really want to point out one application that he has, which is called a Deals Game. You can grab it from the Windows Store. If you have a Windows Phone or Windows Mobile, you can grab it too. It's there, and this application. It's great. I visit every day, and it's not because this application is because of him or because he's my friend. None of that. It's because it has all the sales that you want to know about the game. So this application is a must-have as a PC gamer. You can choose, for example, oh, let's see what sales are on Green Man Gaming. And there you go. You have all the sales. Let's imagine that I want to buy this. You can share it. You can go to the deal. Uh, this might be a little bit slow now because I'm yet uploading the Forza video. And that's it. So this application is really a must have. You should download this, uh, this application if you have the Windows 10 or if you have a Windows Phone or if you have a Windows Mobile 10. This application is really, really, really great. So thank you a lot to Alexandra Carvalho too for the tip. So these were the two things that really helped me out to make Forza run better on your PC. I'm not sure if this is going to work for you, but for me it did work. Either way, if these two tips didn't work, I invite you to go to Santiago Santiago channel and see his video. His video is very, very complete and he has there some nice tips too that might, imp might, um, might help you out. And so I really, really advise you to go there and see that video. So. That's all. I hope you, I this didn't. I hope this helped you. Sorry for my English. I'm a little bit nervous. Don't know why. But uh, that's all. Thank you a lot for watching. And uh, anytime you want to race with me, just let me know.
I really want to beat your high score because I'm loving this game and I'm pretty sure you are having, are having a good time too with this game. So see you soon, thank you a lot for watching, yeah!